Welcome back to Inside Southeastern Baseball with Head Coach Jay Ortiz, presented by your local Southern Quality Ford dealers and also Champagne Beverage. After taking game one against Mississippi State, they were back at it on Wednesday night as the Lions went for their fifth consecutive victory over the Bulldogs. Let's go out and check out the highlights. Here we go on a Wednesday. Beating Mississippi State the first time means gold on gold. As you can see, a swing and a miss for strike three. Another strikeout, fastball in. Had Mississippi State baffled for two straight days. Once again, Harry Slade gets the lines going, driving that leadoff double. That's the way you want to get things started. Great job by Harry. Getting in the second base, working on that line up sign a little bit. Still got some work to do. Great job of base running by Harry right here. Michael Rutland, productive out, advances the runner, hits a high chopper, we advance. Run that third one out. Rock A. Bear crushes that ball down the left field line for a double, and off his bat, you knew that was a double. Great job with his speed, getting to second base, putting pressure and drawing first blood on the Bulldogs. Cody Gogler, infield single up the middle, gets away from the first baseman, runs scores. Lines go up 2 nothing on the Bulldogs. They come right back, answering in the next inning. Good job hitting that ball right back through the middle, scoring a run. Great job trying to steal. True freshman behind the plate, Sam Roberson. Sam does a great job throwing him out of second base. Hit three true freshmen on the field against Mississippi State. Still sweep them. This was a big play. Went to the bullpen. Caleb Manuel was outstanding, gets soft contact. Brock Abair doubles up first base, and here we go. Brock Abair leading off the inning. Went down first, using his speed. Went down that third baseline, getting the first base. Michael Rutland at first. Jonathan Pace singles up the middle. Good job. Bases are full of lines. It's all gold on the bags. That's what you want to see. Good panoramic view there by Todd Dunnington. Cody Gog, a great productive out, and that's what we did a good job of. Runners base loaded, productive out. Scores a runner, advances the runners. Great base running all around. Everybody advanced, moved up. This heads up play by Brock Abair. They tried to appeal, say we left early at second. Abair scores. I tell you, we played so much faster than Mississippi State. You could really see it on the base pass. Great job right there running the bases. Attempt to straight steal home. Caught the pitcher sleeping, but the dugout noticed it and took advantage of it. Great job by Lions. Proud of him. Swing and a miss. Another strikeout by Ray. Swing and a miss. Good job. Another swing and a miss. I tell you, we really, our pitchers really dominated Mississippi State hitters. I was really proud of the way they did it. As you can see right there, just buckles his knees for strike three. Great job by Manuel. Super, super job by him. I tell you, came in, changed the tone. Game was really over by then. You knew we were in command. Sam Robeson doing a great job. True freshman, another true freshman. Driving a single through the right side. Good job by Sam. This is a very heads up play here by Ladd Rose. Another example of how fast we were playing. They played, made a play at first base, but Ladd heads up, takes off, shoots for the plate, and we score again. Another strikeout. Man, you're just. Breaking ball was too much for the hitters and does a great job getting a swing and miss. Pop up, Caleb caught the ball all the way. You could tell he wanted that pitch. Gets out of it. Good job. Boy, he was outstanding. Caleb Manning was outstanding on the mound. Turn it over. Matt Pateri. Boy, Matt was good. You can see he throws that fastball right by him. Pateri was outstanding. Turn it over to Dylan Hills, and our bullpen on this night was lights out. Dylan comes in, another swing and a miss, blows it right by another Mississippi State hitter. And gets the pop up, just like Coach Riser hits him in pregame, way up there, true freshman Sam Roberson makes the catch. Good job by Sam. Another good job by Dylan Hills, swing and a miss. Strike three once again. Just dominated their hitters, as you can see right here. It was a fastball right by him. In the ball game, Lions win, sweep Mississippi State for the second time in three years. That's five straight wins over the Bulldogs for Southeastern. Lions win five to one with Manuel picking up the win on the mound. Coach, big victory five to one. Going back two years ago, you went down there to their place, swept them in a three-game series, and now two here at home, five and zero oh against Mississippi State in your tenure here. 
Yeah, I'm really proud of the guys. I mean, we, we pretty much dominated Mississippi State in these two series, you know, sweeping them at their place and sweeping them at home. It says a lot about our guys. They really rose to the occasion. You know, in this ball game, we really pitched it well, beating them five to one, came out of the bullpen. Dylan Hills was really outstanding out of the bullpen. Uh, Caleb Manuel was really good. So we got some good outings out of some relief guys. So the Lions took on Texas A&M Corpus Christi in a Southland Conference matchup on Friday night, and it would be a wild one. Let's check out the highlights. All right, after Sweet Mississippi State, we head down to Corpus Christi. Friday night down in Corpus. Corpus jumped on the Lions early, nine to three, but the Lions come roaring back. Really proud of the way guys respond after a big series win, a sweep over Mississippi State. Go down to Corpus, tough atmosphere, down nine to three, and just absolutely come rolling back all the way back here. As you can see, the Lions start ch chipping away at their lead. Pitcher started struggling on command. Got in that bullpen and really exploited the bullpen. Hitters did a good job exploiting that pin. As you can see, they walked in the run here. That lead starts diminishing and dwindling. Go to Goggle up in a 9-5 game and boom, crushes that ball through that shortstop. Keep the end alive. Another run scored. 9-6. Lad Rhodes. Good job by Lad laying off that pitch. 9-7. Here come your Lions. Right back. You can see it and feel it happening as he crushes that ball off that pitcher. Jacob doing a good job. Jacob Fisher with his speed beating that ball out. Scored another run, makes it 9-8. And they go up back 11-8, but we do a good job on the mound. Getting that ground ball. Good job of Sam Robeson at first base, making a play. Here come Cody Geiger. 3-2, two, two outs. Drives that ball to right center. Lions tied up. Cody goes rumbling and stumbling in second base. 11-11 now, and here come the Lions. Second, third. Hits a big shot on the right side. Lad Rhodes, good job by Lad Rhodes. Lions go up 13-11 in the top of the 12th inning. Long game, turn it over to Stefan Lopez. As my favorite Carolina says, game over. Blows it by him for strike three. Lions win 13-11. Greenleaf does a great job. Six innings relief out the bullpen. Stefan Lopez is seven saving. Brock Bear, four for six. Three runs scored and two RBIs. The Lions improved to 14-5. Coach, definitely a wild ball game on Friday night, down 9-3. to three. Your team really showed that never-say-die attitude. Yeah, coming back the way we did on the road, uh, you know, I was really proud of the guys. We were down 9-3, fifth, sixth inning, and guys responded well. Made it 9-8, kept chipping away, chipping away. And you can see when we tied it up, their dugout looked like they surrendered because they knew what was coming, and our guys responded extremely well. Well, Coach, Jason Greenleaf, really the story of the ball game, went in and threw six shutout innings against that club to allow your offense to get back in it. Jason's done a good job. You know, he, he's done a great job maturing on the mound. Uh, just pounded the strike zone, throwing that cutter for strike, his change up for strike, his fastball, and really competed well. And that's what we needed out of the pen. All right, let's take a break. When we come back, we'll take a look at game two and game three against Texas A&M Corpus Christi right here on Inside Southeastern Baseball with head coach J.R.T.'s, presented by your local Southern Quality Four Dealers and also Champagne Beverage. 